Hello guys, this is Raja Kahil. Uh, I've been uh, a while from uh, YouTube, but since uh, many of you uh, showed interest in my uh, 3D printer and the modifications I made to it, uh, so I'm making a video to show you uh, all the stuff I did to it from electronics to the Core XY conversion. Let's start. Okay, first, <coughs> sorry for the messy working area. I will start now show you what is here. Okay, this is an Xbox <coughs> 203 watts. Uh, uh, this is for everything. In the printer, everything is running by this one, except the heated bed, which is running by the stock um, power supply. Uh, I have a MOSFET for the bed from the power supply to the bed, so it doesn't stress the, um, the board. Uh, this is a cheap MOSFET, uh, I just made uh, thick wires here, uh, so it doesn't go uh, hot, it, it, uh, it became much better this way. By the way, anything you, you want more explanation about it, just drop me a comment. Uh, I removed the cooler heatsink of the MOSFET and attached it to this power supply because it has a big aluminum uh, aluminum case so it can cool it uh, the drivers are uh, LV8729 these new ones from MKS uh, they are pretty cool uh, they don't get uh, hot easily only this one, I will change it later, is the stock uh, driver. I have also these uh, diodes just to, yeah, you know, sometimes uh, like the smoother or something. This is another version with eight, eight diodes. Uh, you know, for text texture or something uh, that comes mostly on delta printers uh, i don't know if they make a difference here i just installed them i will test that later i didn't finish yet with the printer yet still working on it uh what else is here yeah nothing here to be as uh mosfet for the bed the drivers and the uh, smoothers Let's move on. Here now, I have only one cable to the head. And I have this little guy, my UFO, to manage wires. And I like UFOs. Uh, okay, step by step. Let's go up from this side. Here, I made my own end stop that is much better and more accurate than the regular end stop. Uh, for the X and Y, the end stops are the stock ones because it doesn't need to be very accurate for the X and Y. But for the Z, it need to be very accurate. And by the way, you may think or say end stops are uh, accurate, but they are not. Because if you uh, if you go and search, you will not find any uh, supplier of end stops that will state the uh, accuracy of end stops because it's not meant for high accuracy applications. 
you can't find that like uh, they don't say it's 0 0.01 uh, millimeter accuracy or something they don't say uh, this one is much more accurate and it's much more simple it's just a screw that disconnect when the bed hits this head disconnect uh, the accuracy of it is less than zero less than 0 0.001 millimeter um, so I'm using this for the Z uh, this is not the final version I will make uh, another one with like adjustable screw so so I can uh, control it easier to adjust the first layer height <sighs> okay and I also uh, did this uh, the uh, lead screws sync synchronization uh, the belt was a little bit longer than I expected it was supposed to use uh, two idlers but I ended up using three not a big deal it's working perfectly and I don't worry about my bed being uh, a side higher than a side one side higher than the other side okay let's move on these spacers uh, one note first all the parts I printed here for the Codex Y conversion are not uh, quality printed because I made them quickly just to test this stuff so here are four of them to raise the bed so the bed is actually it looks much better when it's up let's move this up down so you can see okay like this you know it's like on the surface it's very nice very easy and uh, yeah accessible okay um, so we were on this side here I covered uh, the wires just this uh, little cover you can find it on Thinkverse I will put another piece here to cover this one from this side as well here and the wire is coming to the motor to that motor down there and from the side by the way the, the wires are the stock ones so you don't have to extend the wires <coughs> the wires if you are going to make the codex y uh, one to the y and the stop and one to the motor and one to the Z end stop hmm. from this side only for the motors uh, the motor now let's move to the Codex Y uh, first thing I, I have to say is the idlers these ones Uh, are not good ones I couldn't find like uh, very good one uh, ones online um, I don't know I, I couldn't find them maybe uh, maybe you, you can find some but I uh, I thought I wouldn't uh, spend a lot of time or money by testing uh, uh, testing and looking for uh, good ones so I made another design that works with bearings. Maybe I will upload it later. The upload for this conversation, uh, conversion, sorry, will be uh, under the under this video. Okay. Um, 
these belts are steel uh, steel core belts they are incredibly strong very very strong it's very hard to cut them uh, when you are going to tighten the belts you don't have to tighten them very much the the one thing you have to pay attention to is to uh, tighten both belts equally equally you, ha you you can use a tuner or you can use something like this I have one but I don't know where it is now so the idea is to make them both uh, same tension so the x-axis is uh, always vertical with y because if you tighten one end uh, one belt more than the other it will the x will be like this or like this okay so you don't want to put pressure on the y carriages um, okay here with these screws you can tighten the belt and uh, the mount for the extruder it's iro with a short uh, stepper motor uh, very simple mount and very strong and the best uh, part is that the distance from the nozzle tip to the carry is very little that means much uh, higher accuracy than the stock one <coughs> the long the long mount because here you know if, if the distance was very long and you have a very little playing here in the carriage uh, with the long distance it will be like like this very very long playing or backlash but with a very short distance it will be much higher accuracy uh, this is a server fan, uh, 28, 28 millimeters, 40, 40 millimeters. Uh, I designed another uh, fan duct. I adjusted it and I uploaded it. I uploaded it also to the design page. It's a little bit better than this. Mm, uh, these are uh, ceramic uh, fabric insulation uh, covered with Kapton tape. I I never had uh, temperature dropping, even like one degrees at full fan speed. There is no dropping at all. Uh, the stepper mount, uh, the stepper mount here. There is a damper. And here I made a little space so I can put a rubber, piece of rubber here. Uh, so the motor is pulled, pulled from this side to this side, this way pulled. Uh, so this is a support and also uh, works as a damper. Because I didn't want to stick the stepper to the aluminum extrusion, so there is no vibrations transferred. This is a damper. It works very well. Uh, the speed I was able to uh, uh, to reach, it's not the limit, it's just uh, an, a quick test. It was a quick test. 300 millimeters uh, travel movement. And also I was able to print like uh, with mm, 150 I think but it wasn't the best quality uh, at, at that speed because you know there is some uh, uh, restrictions like the filament type and some other stuff.
one thing is nice about the Core XY that both motors are uh, are running in almost all moves. For example, now if you are, if I move this one to this side with X axis, both motors are running. So you have double the uh, power for the X. For Y as well, you have two motors are running. Only in diagonal move at a very specific uh, direction, you have one motor running and the other is holding. So uh, it's much more powerful. Powerful. Uh, it's lighter because I remove the uh, aluminum extrusion bar that were here under this. Uh, so it's it's lighter now. Also, this is a short stepper, not the big one. Um, so it's much faster, uh, more accurate, uh, and looks cooler. This is my spool holder. This is a 2.3 kilo spool. Uh, I can just. Uh, just removable like this so you can just pull it up put the center and put it back again and I made this bowden tube here so the spool is not affected by the head movements no? so the spool is only moved by the extruder not by the head this helps with the uh, fast movements. So when you, when you have very fast movements, so it's not affected at all. And just a little sponge here, so uh, to filter the dust. Uh, this is the oil I'm using for the liner, for the rails, sorry. One last thing, this is a uh, perfect uh, solution for glass when you when you put it first shake it uh, very well then put a layer when you heat the bed and print everything will stick very well and when the bed cools down it will automatically pop, just pop up you can just pick it like this or just put a very little pressure it will so this is excellent on their website they recommend to uh, to put a layer each time you print but actually I I've been printing uh, too much with only one layer and it just works so let me know if you want to ask about anything and good luck bye bye